before this game started. Just want to point that out. Okay. Brad Penny, ERA 2.04 and a jam. Runners on the corners, one out, top four. Josh Barr tries to steal. That was ill-advised. Russell Martin throws him out. Mike Cameron stays on third, and he will be stranded right there. Kevin Kuzman off, strikes out looking. Penny all fired up, out of the jam without giving up a run. Seven innings, seven Ks, one run. Jake Peavy facing Nomar. You see 84 and a third innings without allowing a home run. No more in the longest home run drought of his career. 231. Fouls off the sixth pitch, the seventh pitch, the eighth pitch, and the ninth pitch. Up to this point, the longest at bat of the game by anybody was five pitches. On the tenth to no more, what a battle. What an at bat. A 94 mile an hour pitch, and he sends it out to tie the game at once. Bottom seven, PV has got to dig down deep, and he's got a battle. Bases are loaded. Pinch hitter Almedo signs is up. And PV says, you, you got this? Oh. Nope, gives him the gas base. Six K of the game, he goes seven innings, five hits, and gives up one. We head to the 10th, Takashi Saito pitching. Russell Brannion saws off the bat, and it goes right back up the middle. Rafael Percal makes a spectacular play, but your eyes are almost not even watching that. You're worried about the pitcher. He was all right, scoreless inning for him. To the 11th, Russell Martin on second after a steal, and then he has a, a Julio Lugo moment. You'll understand what that means a little later in the show. He's thrown out on ball four to Jeff Ken. It looks like Maybe the hand snuck in. Regardless, he's called out. We go to the 12th. Top 12, Jose Cruz Jr. At, at the plate. Khalil Green is on second, and he serves one out there, and Andre Ethier short hops it. Pods take the lead 2-1. to one. They would add another. We'll give you another look at this one, as you'll see that Ethier, heck of an effort, but that's clearly a short hop. So you, you bring in Trevor Hoffman looking for save number 505, and it's Tony Abreu, who earlier this week, in an extra inning game against Arizona, hit the home run that was the difference. Here, he hits a fly ball that's the final out of the game. And San Diego has won four straight and five of seven. 100 home runs, sitting on 750, six more for the record. That's Willie McCovey in attendance. June 30th, 1978, he had his 500th career home run in a Giant uniform, also with 52 as a Padre. Bottom one, Giants down, one nothing, two outs, two runners on, and boy, Benji Molina hitting 417 with two outs and two runners on. Doubles off Doug Davis, Durham scores. Can Bonds make it from first? You betcha. Bonds walked three times in this game. He had one hit. Was it a homer? We'll let you know. Noah Lowry, 6-1 and one at home this season. He had it working. Peyton, the outside corner. Peyton, the inside corner, and making batters like Eric Burns miss. Burns. Smithers. ZRA now 3.46, eight Ks for Lowry. All right, here's Bonds. We mentioned he had one hit. Here it is. Oh, swing and a drive, but the lower body strength, not quite what it used to be. He's an upper body hitter now, and oh, just not enough. Eric Burns, a great effort, doesn't make the play. Bonds, career double 376, ties him with Willie Mays for most in San Francisco history. Bonds hit a bunch more as a pirate, but as a giant tied with Mays. Top of six, Diamondbacks down four to one. This is a good team now. However, Dave Roberts, the great catch. Arizona was the NL wild card leader when the day began on Saturday. After the great defense by Roberts, some clutch pitching. Vinny Chalk, bases loaded, two outs, protecting a one lead. He does a great job protecting it. Giants win. Hey, Pedro Gomez, Barry Bonds, all-star or not? Angels 17 and 8 June, the best in baseball, in part because their batting average is 325, and in part because Sean Figgins just doesn't make outs. Here, first pitch of the game off Brian Burris. He extends his hitting streak to 12 games. More statistical information on Figgins coming momentarily. Two batters later, Vlad. He'll swing if you throw it. <laughs> he literally will. Jake Gibbons makes the grab, and Figgins caught sleeping. He's doubled off first base. Bottom five, Bartolo Colon, who looks a lot like Andre the Giant to me. It's just me. Kevin Millar, One, two, that's the right singles, Kevin, brings in Jay Payton and Brian Roberts. The Orioles lead three to nothing. The Angels had not had a hit since the Figgins single you saw in the first. Figgins here, if he gets a hit, it's his 53rd in the month of June, which just adds on to his team record. Nick Gourneau and scores. Figgins is safe at third. How about that? 53 hits in a month. Orlando Cabrera, a double. That's a year for people. All of a sudden, it's 3-2. to two. Angels climbing back into it, but then Hector Carrasco, the big blow of the ball game. Three-run shot puts the Oreos up 6-2. to two. 
And then how about this story? Paul Shuey, retired in 2005, had hip surgery, hasn't had a save since 2002. And at 36, he's the Orioles' new closer. Mm. And he gets a save. Hey, strays and Natty Boos, on. They win this one 6-3. Jacoby Ellsbury, first major league at bat. Welcome to the bigs. It's a check swing. Gerald Laird, Gerald Laird tags him out. It's a tape measure shot. It went a foot. Ellsbury's like, you've got to be kidding me. Later in the inning, Kevin Euclid up. Euclid picks up the rook. Your mom goes to college. A two-run shot into the bleed. You ever sat up there yet? I, I have a couple times. I sat there once. What a great time. Euclid is ninth. Sox lead 4 nothing. Here come those Rangers. Brad Wilkerson. Deep. Ellsbury. Whoa. Kind of misplays that one. Frank Catalanato and Marlon Bird score Rangers within 4-3. They would tie the game later in the inning. That outfield in Boston is an acquired taste. Kind of have to learn to play every different position. It's tricky. Top five were knotted at fours. Beckett facing Sammy Sosa. Beckett has not given up nearly as many home runs this season as he did a year ago, but this one just has enough to get out. It's the 602nd of Sosa's career. He gives the Rangers a 5-4 lead. Eighth inning now. Kevin Euclid is up. Julio Lugo at second. He came in to pinch run, and he takes off. Gerald Laird has to sort of hesitate. Gets his man there. Lugo sort of didn't slide. You wondered afterwards. They were discussing in the booth. What would that? What was that about? Yeah, yeah a little confusion there, right? Josh Beckett then. He's also having the same kind of dominating year in Cleveland that Beckett's having in Boston. Also a Northern California guy. You know, starting the All-Star game in San Francisco would be a career highlight for the big guy. Getting it done against the double race as he usually does. Grady Sizemore, three for four in this game. Just hitting 285, but his on base is 401. And the innings have a 2-0 lead. Michaels and the talking Garco score. Third inning, look at this hook. Hello. <laughs> Ewell Moore goes down. Bottom five. And he's up 4-2. If I had one wish, Scott, yeah. it would be to be as strong as Travis Hafner for just one day. 13th homer of the year. Wish. It is. That's the one. Indians up 5-2. Top of six. Sabathia again. Look at that breaking ball. Later, Jorge Cantu. Eight Ks, no walks for Sabathia. Perhaps nudging ahead of back Beckett in the all-star starter race for the American League. I'd like to be Sasquatch and play drums with a D for a day. Me and Romeo have never been friends. Roll Casanova, two-run shot, interesting. But then Borowski comes in and saves it for Sabathia, who wins his 12th of the year. That leaves the majors. Sabathia had 12 wins all of last year. How about the Cubs? They've won seven in a row. Lou, Lou, trying know, to make it eight. Mike Fontenot. This guy's batting 400. I, I say that because we're about to pick on him. Error there. The Brewers get their inning going. They're up 1-0, top one. Prince Fielder, double, brings in J.J. Hardy and Ryan Braun. Braun was 4 for 5 on the day. Brewers up 3-0. Lou decides, let's, let's, let's change things up. Fontenot switches positions with Mark DeRosa. So Fontenot's now at second base. Doesn't matter where they're standing for this one because Frint, Frint? That's Prince Fielder. You put the two together, you get Prince. Anyway, here comes Braun again to score. He's on base because, as I said, he's four for five. Here's Braun. Finds Fontenot again. Oh, Fontenot. Yikes. Like oh, my lawn. Braun, I should say, uh, averaged 349. Yeah. Nice for him. It's 10 2 Brewers. Fontenot. Get batting 400. Let's give him that. Ben Sheets, the beneficiary of all the runs. Uh, he's filthy there to Soriano. And then, how about Carlos Zambrano? He's batting above 250, so they bring him in to pinch hit. Sit down. Season high 13, uh, 11 Ks, I beg your pardon, for Sheets Brewers win season high runs. You know, he's four and a half out of the NL wild card. That's J.A. Happ, the sixth different Philly pitcher to make his major league debut this season. And after giving up a two run homer earlier in the inning, David Wright hits a home run. That's, fourth. that's smashed. Yeah, it's 14th for Wright. Uh, Ryan Howard. He had uh, nine home runs in June last year. He has 10 this year. That one very far. That's deep Goodness. in the second deck. Had only 198 at home this year for some reason. Carlos Beltran hit 356 in April, off to a great start. Just 208 in June, but the last day of June, making up for it. 66 hits the showers, and there goes Beltran again. This home run derby, isn't it? It is. Look at this. Oh, oh. Goodness, Aaron Rowan would have had the web gem of the year. It has an eye on it. Steps up and oh, love just wow. wasn't open enough. Mets win. Uh, they've won eight of nine. Go for the four-game sweep Sunday. 
Cardinals' miserable season continues. They're trying to get back to 500. Adam Wainwright said, I don't know what happened in the sixth inning. This is the sixth inning. Reds lead 2-1. Ken Griffey Jr. walks, Edwin Encarnacion walks, bases loaded, nobody out. Next batter, Josh Hamilton walks on four straight pitches. How's your command? Tony La Russa goes to the bullpen. Russ Springer's got an 0-2 count to Alex Gonzalez, and he uncorks one that hits him. Oh, oh boy. Cincinnati now leads 4-1. to one. Not a lot of hitting going on here. Kyle Loesch praised by his team for his stuff, and he had some good stuff. Eight Ks in this one, and the Reds win 5-1. World Series was a best of nine, so it was 1919, 1920, and 1921. That's Kay Agawa starting for the Yankees against the A's on a beautiful day in New York City and missing his location to Shannon Stewart. I'm okay, you're not okay. Seventh homer of the season for Shannon Stewart. Later, Jorge Posada talking mechanics to Kay Agawa. Don't lean back. Don't lean, lean back. back. Don't lean back. Lean back. Get on top. Don't you don't go drop for, forward. Do the forward. Rock. Forward. forward. Who sings that? That big guy? Pat Joe, I, think. <laughs> yes. I get confused. Dan Johnson, again, we're, we're missing location. Hip, hip, oh, Jorge. Yeesh. Four nothing A's. <laughs> Bottom six, maybe Chad Gadan's best pitch. I mean, that is 93 wow. on the black. A Rod had no chance. Rich Harden looked good in relief as well. Yankees get just one hit. Twins trying to take the first two of their weekend series in Detroit. Tigers have lost five of their last six at home. Bottom two tied at one. Craig Monroe, a grounder off Kevin Slowey. Nick Punto dives and in one motion oh. throws him out. If you ate a bucket of chicken, John, I'm just saying, if you were to sit down and eat an entire bucket of chicken for dinner, you probably okay. couldn't do that. And uh, you and I did for no apparent reason today. Twins now lead 2-1. Full count. Two outs for Lou Ford. Lou. Off Andrew Miller, good-looking rookie out of Carolina. A couple of runs come in to score, and the Twins lead 3-2-1. Top five, same score. Runners on the corner. First pitch fastball, Michael Kadire. That is smoked. Ron Gardenhire said a couple of good ball games to start the road trip, which will be 11 games. The Twins have taken the first couple in Motown. Don't forget the floss. To Losing five in a row. Atlanta hoping to bounce back with its fifth straight reign. My goodness, we got a thunder boomer. Now we sitting in a drop top soaking wet. <laughs> you got rain coming down. Okay, Tim Hudson, April 25th, left a game in Florida up three to nothing and then watched in horror as it fell apart and they lost four three. Left this one up six two. You see Bob Wickman's in and it's all going wrong. Wickman shaky to start the inning. Marlins, it gets worse. Miguel Olivo, a two run shot. Wickman can't believe it. It's now six to five. And again, Hudson is, is in line for the victory. Tyler Yates now giving the ball. Dan Uglet the dish. He had earlier homered and off the bat it looked like maybe he had another extra base hit, but it hangs in the air. Willie Harris has got speed. He runs over, squeezes it. Braves have won five straight. The Cubs lost. Seattle has the longest winning streak in the bigs. Miguel Batista taking on his former team, the Jays, top six. Mariners up one nothing. Frank Thomas fly ball. Ben Broussard gives way to Ichiro because Ichiro has a hand cannon. Here comes Vernon Wells, and Vernon knocks the ball away from. Thank you. Game tied at one. Top seven, two one. Seattle leads three one. Lefty Eric O'Flaherty. He has to go back to the pen. Thought he had been called, and instead it's Sean Green. No, no, we want the righty. And the reason we, well, it turns out it works out. Greg Zahn hits into the 1 6 3 double play, and that ends the inning. Bottom seven, two on. Mariners look to bust it open. Ben Broussard stings one into center. Jose Guillen, Richie Sexton score Broussard four for four. Couple of RBIs. The M's up six to one. They're going to keep on winning. Hey, guess who's in? That O'Flaherty guy. He gets to come in and play. Here we go. Who's my big boy? O'Flaherty. Get to the chopper. Aaron Hill grounds out 6-3, ends the inning, and the Mariners win again by a score of 8-2-3. That was the good. Here's the bad. Brian Fuentes having blown four saves in a row as temporarily lost his role as Rocky closer. The Rockies will, you know, go to Corpus, Affeld, Hawkins, Julio as well. Clint Hurdles, Rockies trying to avoid losing nine in a row for the first time since 05. Matt Holiday! <laughs> 443 at home, 351 on the road. He can hit anywhere, but especially at home. On the road here, he gives the Rockies a 1-0 lead. How about Jeff Francis? He threw wonderfully. Gets Berkman, then he gets Craig Biggio in that big, great kazoo helmet he wears for extra protection. <laughs> Biggio did get two hits, now 3,004 hits, three behind K-line for 25th all-time. Garrett Atkins brings home Kaz Matsumi. Francis goes seven, Hawkins one, Affelt one, then the Rocks snap their eight. 
A walk-off walk-off on Bob Walk Bobblehead Night. Only in Pittsburgh. The Pirates last were a 500 team in 1992. Barry Bonds last season in Pittsburgh. And some Bucko fans have had enough at the list of mortal sins. Letting Bonds walk, Jay Bell walk, Bobby Bonilla walk, letting Tim Wakefield walk, trading Jason Schmidt for Armando Rios, giving Jason Kendall 60 million bucks, and trading Aramis Ramirez. And the draft, oh, the draft. Passing on Zito in 99, Wright and Ryan Howard in 01, Prince Fielder and Cole Hamels in 02. The lumber company has become the slumber company, and so it was walk off, walk off on Bob Walk, bobblehead night. Some staged a pregame rally outside PNC Park Wanted fans upset with the Pirates' low spending, bad trading, bad drafting ownership to intentionally walk out of the ballpark, and about 100 did. Most came back to the seat soon after leaving, and Bob Nutting, principal owner, says, I totally understand the fans' uh, frustration. And there's there's the mullet from Bob Walk. Spectacular. He had a oh. Spectacular mid-90s Yarmer Yager era mullet for Bob Walk, and they captured beautifully on the bobblehead. Freddie Sanchez pops it up. Brian Schneider. Yay. Boy, boy. Lucky break for the Buccos. Sanchez won the batting title last year in the NL. Hitting 305 this year. Two for four. Paulino and Jack Wilson score. Tom Gorzolani pitching well for Pittsburgh. ERA down to 305. And then, boy, if Adam LaRoche can ever start hitting, that could really help this team. Just 10 games under 500. It's getting better, Pittsburgh. Hang in there. Buccos win 7-2. They have good fans out there. They want to support their team. And the just, best their, park. Their issue, it is a fantastic park. Kansas City's won five straight. They can climb out of the cellar and put Ozzy's team in the cellar if they can win here. Josh Fields bare hands the bunt from Esteban Herman and gets his man. That is spectacular. Andy Gonzalez now top five. White Sox leading it. He pops it up. And Emil Brown. Here comes trouble. Yes, it does. And he slides for the catch and then homered in the seventh to tie the game. Top ten, bases loaded. Looking at Aguchi, it's about that time. Tadahito, base hit, brings in Kierzynski and Podsednik. White Sox win 3-1. They remain, they keep their nose just out in front of the Royals for the moment. Nine Mets and Phillies, Jimmy Rollins. Believes he might have an extra base hit. Carlos Beltran says you'll get nothing and like it. That's a nice catch. You got to gauge that wall. Graceful and athletic. Beltran also homered a couple times. Scott Verplank. He, he, was, he was rolling his rock. His caddy. Scotty Tway's got a beard going for good luck. Let's see if it works on Sunday. Shot off the lead heading into the final round for Verplank. Number seven, Hollywood Gold Cup. We got some horse racing. Lava Man looking for his third straight Gold Cup victory. Lava Man, AT Excellent, Big Booster, Lava Man, yes! There's the original Rags to Ridges. Lava Man did it again by a nose. I have National Women's Football Association. It's the Pittsburgh Passion and the West Michigan Mayhem. Nice. Lisa Horton. Look at Lisa. She's got wheels, and I don't want any ladies getting upset. I'm talking about foot speed, foot speed. Then to Horton finds Jennifer Moody. Sure. And now it's Moody again for the two-point conversion, the Passion. Good look away. Yeah, they went 34 to 6. All the ladies in the house say, yeah, yeah. Western PA, dogs play football. <laughs> there. Mets and Phillies. Look at Greg Dobbs. Come on, Dobbs. You're up. Paul LaDuca denied. Rangers, Red Sox, Dustin Pedroia. <laughs> like apples? Jerry Hairston. He goes, he does, he makes the Jeterian play, which I'd like to point out again is not a word. Rangers win 5 to 4. Mets Phillies, Jose Reyes pops up. Shane Victorino, if this guy's not throwing folks out at the plate, he's doing this. And my, uh, my partner in crime, Neil Everett, would be angry with me if I didn't point out he is from Maui, yeah. where I believe Neil will be heading. <laughs> All right, number one, USA, Korea. I'm going to West Virginia. Go ahead. Josie Altador, great pass to Danny Satella. That's a beautiful header, and it helps when you get, you know, you get a fresh haircut, less friction on the ball, and you can shape it from left to right. Oh, that is a hard pan. That line. is a 